Okay, so hello, welcome. I'm gonna do a probability and stats example here. This is gonna be an urns problem. So, uh, suppose there are three urns on my shelf. One urn is blue, contains three blue balls and two maize balls, blue and maize. A second urn is maize and contains one blue ball and four maize balls. A third urn is white and contains the ashes of my cremated dog, Howard. That's sad. Howard is my friend's dog, and I don't want Howard to be cremated. I mean, not for many, many years. Howard's a good dog. Anyway, so um, let's pick the blue or maize urn at random, then randomly select a ball from that urn. Without replacing the ball, randomly select a second ball from the urn with the same color as the ball you first drawn. Okay, so you're going to draw from an urn. You're going to get either a blue or maize ball, and then you're going to observe that color and then pick your second ball from the urn that matches that color, right? Pick a pick the blue or maize urn at random, then randomly select a ball from that urn. Without replacing the ball, randomly select a second ball from the urn with the same color as the ball you first drawn. All right, so um, here's the questions. You might want to pause the video, write them down, or take a screen, whatever you want to do. So uh, what's the probability the second ball is maize? What's the probability the first ball is maize? What's the probability that the first ball is maize given the second ball is maize? And are these two events independent? The first ball is maize and the second ball is maize. Okay, so let's take a look at these. I've got the answers written out here. Let me first, let me first make the probability tree that you probably wanna to do to solve. It actually turns out trying to figure out the likelihood of the first ball being maize first is kind of answering these questions out of order might be the way to go. So remember, we are selecting at random from the blue and maize urn. So 50-50, so 50%, uh, probability 50 or 0.5 that you'd select from blue, probability 0.5 you select from the maize urn. Then the blue urn contains three out of five that are blue and two out of five that are maize. So the probability of selecting a blue ball from the blue urn is gonna be 0.5 times 0.6 probability of selecting a maize ball from the blue urn is going to be 0.5 times 0.4. Uh, probability of selecting a blue ball from the maize urn is going to be 0.5 times 0.2. Probability of selecting a maize ball from the maize urn is going to be 0.5 times 0.8. So the probability that the first ball is maize, that is going to happen here and here. We'll have to add them together. So 0.5 times 0.4 plus 0.5 times 0.8 is a probability 0.6. All right, so probability of the first ball is maize is 0.6. Let me just go up here. Sure enough, probability first ball is maize is uh, 0.5 times 0.4 plus 0.5 times 0.8 is 0.6. Okay, what about the second ball? So to draw the second ball, remember, first we are selecting each urn with probability 1 half. Then you are allowing the color of that selection, the color of the first ball, to drive which urn you then drew from. All right, so first off, the color of the first ball is coming from this portion of the tree. The color of the second ball is coming from this portion of the tree. All right, so I'm selecting blue or maize with probability 0.5 each. Then I'm selecting a blue ball from the blue urn, probability 3 fifths. Maize ball from the blue urn with probability 2 fifths. Blue ball from the maize urn with probability 1 fifth. Um, and, and so on and so forth. Okay, now if I've drawn a blue, if I've drawn a blue ball, from the blue urn, I'm gonna go back to the blue urn and I'm gonna now have the likelihood of drawing a blue ball, so it's gonna be two fourths, or maize ball, two out of four. Um, if I selected the maize ball, then I'm gonna go, then I'm gonna, uh, so the second ball is maize, then I'm gonna, um, or my, no, so I've selected from the blue urn, maize ball, uh, and then I'm gonna select from the uh, from the maize urn and have probability one fifth that I'm selecting a blue ball and four-fifths I'm selecting a maize ball. Uh, right, so suppose I selected from the maize urn the blue ball. Now I'm gonna go to the blue urn and I'm gonna select a blue ball with probability three-fifths or a maize ball with probability two-fifths. Right? Or suppose I selected a maize ball from the maize urn. Now I'm gonna go back to the maize urn and select a blue ball with probability one-fourth or a maize ball with probability three-fourths. Right, so then the likelihood of getting like these end nodes is just the product of the probabilities along the tree. So the probability of the second ball is maize 
that's going to be two fourths times three fifths times 0.5. Uh, one fifth, whoops, four fifths times two fifths times 0.5. And that's this right here. And then this one, and then this one. So the probability that the second ball is maze is going to be 0.5 times 0.6 times 0.5 plus 0.5 times 0.4 plus 0.8 plus 0.5 times, not plus, 0.2 times 0.4 plus 0.5 times 0.8 times 0.75, it's going to give us a probability of 0.65. That's just going to be the sums of the products of the probabilities along these trees, along these branches. OK, so going back up, yeah, the probability that the second ball is maze, that is exactly this expression. Cool. Uh, then the second thing we wanted to know is, what is the probability that the first ball is maze given the second ball is maze? Probability that the first given the second ball is maze is a conditional probability. So that, what's the probability that the first ball is maze conditional on the second ball being maze? Um, probability the first ball is maze conditional on the second ball being maze. Well, OK, so this is probability of A given B or probability of A intersect B divided by B, probability of B. So that is, if this is event A, this is event B, this is the probability of event A intersect event B divided by probability of event B. Well, we already calculated the, prob the, the probability that the second ball is maze. That's the 0.65. Then this top part right here, this is going to be the, the, the probability that, uh, that the uh, first and second balls are maze. Right. OK. And so if we multiply, if we add this up and compute this probability, it comes out to a probability of 0 0.7077. And then my answer, are these independent events? No. Independence would require our answers to B and C to be the same. But probability of first ball is maze and probability of the first ball conditional on second ball being maze, those would have to be the same. So probability of event A has to be equal to the probability of event A conditioned on B for A and B to be independent events. That didn't happen here, so we don't have independent events. So, okay, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, and good day.